this would also be the time where things go bad down there when I'm all the way up here. Something is going bad. Welcome back everybody, it's harvest day 24. And if you guys didn't know, we are doing a harvest vlog this year where I'm trying to make a video every single day of harvest. We are currently on soybeans, we're moving down to the farm where we're going to be harvesting the day. I think there's about 100 acres there that we can take out. Dad did pick some of it last night, so it sounds like there's a grain cart there. It's just going to be me and Dad today. So stick around and join us on another day of harvest. Oh, and if you haven't already, you can check out all our other harvest days. And the best thing that you guys can do to support the channel is give it a thumbs up. Bandit would sure appreciate it. All right, here we go. It's time to get out of the game plan for the day is that I'm going to try and keep all the soybeans away from my father. To try and do so, I have two semis in this grain cart. We've done this a lot in the past. You know, most, Andrew got hired on with us this year. Most of the time it's just been me and my dad during harvest season. And the way we would do it is one guy runs the trucks and the other guy runs the combine. And the majority of our farms we've improved the entrances where we can pull a semi directly into the field. Which we would be doing right now except for it's probably too wet to be pulling these semis into the field. And what we would do in the past, is, since there was only two of us, is have no grain cart operator. The guy on the combine would combine a hopper load, drive it up to the semi truck, unload it onto the semi truck, and do that until the semi is full, while the other guy's taking the, the semi back to the bed, unloading that semi, turning it around and coming back. Usually by the time you get back, the other truck is full and the combine hadn't been sitting for that long. Or sitting at all. Is it ideal? No, but does it work for us? Yes. One of the big downsides though is that I'm definitely going to have to lug banded in and out of tractors and trucks and stuff like that only about 700 times a day. But the first load's ready, so let's boogie. There we go, time to head out. I'm guessing the next one's waiting. Looks like I was wrong. He does have a cart full ready for me to go, but he hasn't had to stop con mining yet to unload it onto the truck. So I've got to hop into this thing and go unload it onto the truck. Okay, load three, it's 11.08. Let's see how long this takes. Well, it looks like a fuel gauge strikes again.
Yeah, but there's no doubt that kind of throws off my timing experiment. But it's 1218 for those who want to know. 1241. Well, here we are, a load or so later. It looks like Dad's starting to catch up with me. He's starting to move on to the better parts of the field. The good news is, though, with kind of my guesstimate is that I'll only have to unload one more truck after this one, and we should have two trucks empty and the grain cart, and most likely at that point in time, we should have enough storage there at the farm to finish the rest of that farm. So even if my dad does catch up with me, as in terms of I can't keep the soybeans away from there, we'll at least have enough storage to finish the rest of the farm. So that's a good deal. We are also cutting beans at the farm where we did dirt work this summer. And you guys can see some of those videos up here. Pretty neat. If I get the chance, I'll run back there and show you guys the finest, final project that did get finished up. Well, I guess I might as well just go up to the top of here and see how things are looking. I actually have no clue how many loads are actually in this bed. Ooh. That's getting full. Oh, that's... That's, uh... There's a lot more beans in there than I thought there was. That could be problematic. This would also be the time where things go bad down there, but I'm all the way up here. Something is going bad. Smell something real hot. Smell hot belts. Which makes absolutely no sense because there's no belts here. Wonder if the stir raiders are still going in here. Nope. Question is. Well, those aren't going, and I doubt they're supposed to be going. And that's definitely not the source of the smell. So where the heck is the smell coming from? I'm not sure. I'm gonna turn it back on. Because I don't feel any heat in the PTOs. Maybe I'm smell that it smells like burning rubber. We'll see what happens. We'll just ease it.
I'll find out. But it was definitely squeaking and squealing a little bit odd. I guess I really don't know what it was. Because it's like... That's a little warm. Nope, that's hot. Oh, I'd say that bearing might be going out. Yeah, that's really hot. I think I found, yes, thank you, Bandit. Uh, I'd say that's what it is, that's what I can smell. Yeah, I'd say that. <clears throat> I'd say that bearing's going out. That's not a good deal. And where this could end up being very, very problematic is, is that right there is our 13 inch auger. Well, the 13 inch auger on harvest day 23 spun itself in half. About halfway down this auger, there's a connection there where it looks like basically a PTO spline splines into each other and it's welded together. Now this is just a guess but last year I was unloading corn on that thing and I wasn't pushing the auger by any means. It's like these things can move a lot more grain than we're willing to move with these tractors. And then all of a sudden, bang, I shear a shear bolt. I'm like, okay, that's happened before I've sheared a shear bolt. Put another shear bolt in it, started it up real slow, bang, it shears the next shear bolt. It acts like it's hitting something super hard. So I take the chain off of it, I work it backwards, I take the bottom part out so it lets the grain come out. I'm like, Dad's thinking I plugged the auger. Worked it back three or four times and the same thing happens. Wham! Breaks, the, shears the shear pin. Wham! Shears the shear pin. We're like, okay, we've got this so plugged that we don't even know what's going on. Anyways, so we take it into John Deere and, and they put a new auger in there. Well, the beautiful aspect of that is that we just rebuilt this auger the year before that too. So it's like that, that auger had basically no bushels on it. I mean, even the paint was still on the flighting. And now again, it seems like it's probably twisted itself in half. So we have two augers, the 13 inch auger, which is the main one, and this 10 inch auger, which is the backup one. And every now and then we'll have both of them set up. It looks like both of them might be broke. That's not a good deal. Well, luckily I was able to get on the phone with the parts store before they closed up here and they do have that bearing. So I can head into town there and pick it up at some point, but I'll probably just end up shooting the thing absolutely full of grease to try and make it through uh, the rest of the day and then I'll have to fix it tomorrow. Well, we'll just take her easy. If she grenades, she grenades. Good news, the auger survived another load. That means we can keep going. Or we could quit, go home, have a normal Saturday night, watch some football, hang out with some friends. <laughs> Good joke. Well, here's this project of the terraces that uh, got finished up. There's one over there that's a big elbow. It's a goofy looking one. That's actually by the dozer. This one right down here is brand new. This one right here was redesigned and reshaped. And then right at the top of the hill here where there's a pink flag, if you guys can see that, that one has been reshaped. And it's kind of just a bump to catch a little bit of water. And then we got a new one right here that's parallel with me. And then we got, also got one just a little bit further down the hill. They did a fantastic job. I mean, this looks beautiful. Well, guys, that looks like it's going to be the end of the video here. I'm actually not done working yet today. I've got two more trucks that I've got to go get. But it's obviously gotten dark on us, and the GoPro doesn't work very good in the dark. So thank you guys very much for joining me on another day of our harvest here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.
I don't think he's very happy that I left him in the truck when I went and got the green car. 